of new large-scale green buildings going up in New York City, there aren't a lot of options for the average homeowner who wants to renovate green. Blake Holden, who's been doing construction for over 20 years and has a background in environmental studies, is a pioneer in green renovation. This house had a fire about three years ago, and there was a lot of water damage to the building, uh, a lot of holes in walls and ceilings. Part of that idea is, okay, let's reuse as much as we can that's in the house. You know, one of the nice things about restoration is recycling. Did you know that 35% of solid waste in landfills is made up of construction debris? That's why it's so important to use fewer materials and to reuse resources that would otherwise end up in the trash. We took out the wall here to replace it with these hand-hewn beams that we found in uh, New York City, of all places, that they come from originally from Vermont. Anyways, once you claim what is possible, we claim moldings, we use the stair treads. Uh, over there, there's a bunch of um, Wayne's coating that we got both from this house and pulled out of another house that we'll reuse. You see a little bit of the cotton insulation coming through, and we're gonna put the rest of it up in here. It's, it's got a blue color because it comes from blue jeans. These doors are the doors from the house that we had stripped, this beautiful chestnut wood. Actually, one of the doors comes from down the street. Some guy was getting rid of it, so we, uh, we bought it from him. This reclaimed maple flooring. It's been finished with shellac and also then water-based polyurethane. It's an old floor and it's quite variegated. Reclaimed out of some factory up, upstate somewhere. Great thing about the internet now, most of these products, a lot of them you can find online. This is a kind of a concrete block. It's called autoclave aerated concrete. It's got insulating value. I think this wall is considered to be about an R20. And when you're up here in the dead of winter and the heat wasn't even on in this space, but it was from rising in the space, this, this whole room was toasty warm. We blew cellulose insulation into the walls. I think it's essentially, essentially paper. Newspaper, magazines. Yep. You can see type in there and everything. It's just, let's do it. Yeah, it'll take a little more. My walls are stuffed with cellulose. I'm losing a lot less heat than if I had stuck fiberglass in, I believe. It, it seals the, the wall better. I think I'm going to save energy over time. And the other thing is that the whole, whole house has radiant floor heating. So not only we're not pushing air around by blowing air into the space, the heat just kind of comes up through the floor and it's going to I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of move through the space and basically stay. We have radiant tubing actually underneath the subfloor. You have a layer of the finished floor and then there's the subfloor that sits on. And you have radiant tubing, which is plastic tubing about a half inch thick that runs in between the joists that support the floor. And the heat then radiates through the floor, heat rising. What you're seeing here is the, the ends of the tubing that are running through the house. There is a series of pumps. There's one pump associated with each zone so the water comes out of the boiler, goes into, there's a whole big contraption over here, distributes the water into this system and it's divided, feeds each one of these pumps and then pumps, each one of these pumps will pump it through one section of the house. Doing a green renovation is more than being energy efficient. It's also about limiting your exposure to off-gassing, which is indoor air pollution caused by toxins admitted by things like your carpeting and even the wood in your cabinets. We're indoors a lot and we get exposed to so much toxicity and our bodies become so inured to it in some form that we don't re recognize that we're getting exposed to this all the time. So all the wood you see here has um, no formaldehyde and all the finishes are shellac and water-based uh, lacquer. So there are no uh, seriously off-gassing materials in the whole house actually. A, a big goal of green building or energy efficient building comes down to cost in that if you have an energy efficient building, particularly with the price of energy these days, you're gonna save a lot of money. You too can renovate green. To find out how, go to riverwire.com. <laughs>